Finding Your Roots has become a booming business. From websites dedicated to finding long-lost relatives and home DNA tests, more and more Americans are examining their family lineage. Oklahoman reporter Matt Patterson recently went on his own genealogical journey. He set out to discover more about his background and what countries his family emigrated from, but found something more valuable. That's the old house I grew up in. With the help of Ancestry.com and an at-home DNA kit, Patterson was able to locate a second cousin in Ada, Joy Gentry. The two met over the summer, and Gentry was able to fill in some gaps in the family tree. She has been tracing her own roots for several years. As I was growing up, I never, ever thought anything about, okay, how did my parents get this farm, you know? And uh, But somewhere along the way, I heard somebody say, well, I think Grandpa uh, got it in the lottery that opened Comanche County. But nobody ever had any paperwork or anything that established that. But I went to the uh, Oklahoma History Center. Of course, it was a different place than it is now. And they were very nice. And when I told them what the story was, then there we found his name. Uh, Probably they drew his name maybe on the first day. And... He had come from New Hope, Texas uh, to participate, to put his name in the barrel, so to speak. And he left the family back in Texas. As the two met and looked at their lineage, Patterson discovered more branches of the family tree he didn't know about. Patterson says in the end, it's not about being a certain percentage of this or that. It's about the connections. (laughs) 